If art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse oh uh, uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. You're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Halfway there. Plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do talking this, about? You no, won't just let me be who I am. Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna share us from. It to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Uh, holy shit, Ooh. dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you alright? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Press. I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Rich? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh my God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! What is going on? Dear God. No, oh, no, no! Come on! Shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reg, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. So you're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No! No! 
were my brother. All right? You were my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise we'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. We get out there. There is a bio terror, so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't... Just promise me you won't do that. Hey. Hey. Just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing. Okay? Look inside. Jeez, man. The latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? It's only one way to find out. Is a bio too. Wow. That should have hurt. Betty! Where are you, Betty? Hold on, Betty! In you here. did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now! Good, I'm gone! Not until you fix this first! I'll spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! Anywhere. Until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Listen, just let me go! Just let me walk away! Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this! Wait a minute! Stop it! Talk about this! Oh, Henry, I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards. 
Or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because... <laughs> Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again what happened in there. And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty! So. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? I'm a conduit. What? I said... I'm a conduit, alright? I caught it a second ago from... from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Telson! Ah! So, Betty. Maybe you can give me a straight answer. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Betty. Delson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. It's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. 
Don't go down that road. If you're going to be such a buzzkill, I'm going to have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm going to be fine. Really? Mm-hmm. Just see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? Right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's kidding out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Think about it. You'd have to go through, uh, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's my truck. All right. I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town. We load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet. We maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Del, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Oh, this must be the mothership. 
Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. New and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. That's this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not... Please? All right, fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. Hey, Delson, I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get up here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that stuck. Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Rich. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroic. I'm not- Ah, huh, lost you. Have to hit the mute button. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. Delson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. This is what am I, like, Rosa Parks, and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. Oh, you mean like right now? Hey, hey! You guys need any help? Oh shit! A bio terrorist! Hey, hey! It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! This fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Okay, okay, I give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! God, this was a bridge? Reggie? Delson, what's this I hear about you and your brother taking off for Seattle? It's really not a good time, Betty. Okay. Little help here. That's 
Set up pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> Of course, the only downside being that, uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now, look. For all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So... Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We can take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? These DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you... that natural bioterrorists have, but the government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. Like you said, laying low, cruise away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Red. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, all right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is going to take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. Can you see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very... showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. There's your wounds. What kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Go 
Holy sh Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Found our sniper going. Wait, 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 wait. don't Be impale me. I come in peace. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? You should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. Uh, look, just... Send me photos of anything you think might help. Okay, I can see how you might think those are women's shoes. Yeah, they're like size negative. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm looking. I guess this counts as interesting. It's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, we'll get lucky. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God! This again? Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. You gotta calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking me back! I am not going back to Curtin K! Girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they...
The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise, every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. She stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction, doesn't mean that we're going to pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! It should be my responsibility. Yeah, because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this. Fine. I'm here for the tribe, not the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit. He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just not today. Yeah. Let's talk. All right, Reg. Sorry. I... Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out? Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? You know I hate that! Look, you know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the streets. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same. You're different. Yes, I know. I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine. What do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relays. There. Come on, lazy girl. You have people to see and your powers to steal. Okay, promise you won't be mad. But the good news is you can start without me. Oh, face the danger alone? Gee, that is good news. Listen, I found out a major drug shipment came in a couple days ago, and it's stored on some boats there at the marina. All right, on some boats at a marina. That's all the details I need. It's a big shipment, so it'll probably be the houseboats. And this group uses a dolphin as sort of their mark, so I'd look for anything on a boat with a dolphin on it. Better. But don't wait for me. You never know when they'll start offloading that stuff. Fetch, I'm on the docks. And I'm here on the roof. What, you couldn't wait a few more minutes? Oh, this is why I hate working with girls. Somebody in the truck. Ladies, come on, let's go. Yes, the bad men are gone. Go, live, love, just not professionally. If you want to get clean, now's the time. There won't be any more drugs on the street. Don't screw it up. And they're gone. Do you think a couple of low-life bioterrorists will ever get thanked for saving people? Yeah. I think you might have saved me. Oh. So what, are you gonna give up on your whole ritualistic murdering of drug dealers? It's like half your charm. Oh, yeah? What's the other half? Actually, that was it. You're just the one. 
Don't worry, I'm not giving up on my passions. Just finding some new ones. Oh! Like boxing. <laughs> Is that like your whole attempt at a tender moment? Ugh. You are a sentimental psychopath, aren't you? Come on, let's just get the rest of these drugs in the harbor. Maybe we can get a few fish strung out. Man, hook a dolphin. Hey. Uh, you like me. <laughs> Target sighted! Up there! Oh, bad move, man. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> Automatic turrets! It's so cheating! You know that? So you recognize me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away? You've changed since then? You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. Well, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. So maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you. That's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends. Yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Did you be useless to me back in your little hubble? How about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dawson. You disappoint me. No. Whoa! Hold down. Hold down. Ah, the Lantern District, where I was headed all along, just like the scenic route. Hey, uh, uh, is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? Oh, uh, I am just a huge fan of your work. That tag you put on the needle, the yin-yang conflict of avian desire, right? See, I get what you're doing. The whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escaped conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Oh. Well, 
why do you want him or her? I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, I've heard the DUP's planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. Convoy's supposed to come right through the Lantern District, cutting across the I-90 overpass. Okay. You happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, totally. Absolutely, yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I, I'm sorry, man, what'd you say your name was? It's, uh, it's, it's Eugene. It's a dorky name, I know. <laughs> hey, my mom got Delson off of an old western. Hey, Eugene, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do here is somehow drop the road a little. You know, pull the rug out from underneath him? Well, you could just blow it up. No, I can't take the chance it'll kill the conduit I'm looking for. I think I'm just gonna cut the supports, and the trucks will make it drop a little. Bam! Instant roadblock. Okay. See, man, this is why I'm such a big fan. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, come on out and watch. But, you know, from a safe distance, of course. <laughs> Eugene, when's this convoy supposed to show up? Uh, tonight sometime? I mean, I really don't know for sure. Are you still at the overpass? Yeah, still here. Just been making friends with the locals. There doesn't seem to be any traffic up top, man. Well, yeah, because the dupes took it over. Uh, closed it off to citizens. So, you finished with the supports? Yep, all done. About to head topside and get ready for a little game of chicken with the dupes. Gene, talk to me, man. What am I looking for in this convoy? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're moving a lot of prisoners, so maybe look for some buses? Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. Radio chatters all over the place. I can't figure out where they're headed. Wait, wait. You're tapped into the DUP right now? How the hell did you pull that off? Uh, just this phone app I've been tinkering with. Here, I'll send you a link. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what's it do? It's a signal tracker. You can listen in on the DUP's communications. But the cool thing is, you can also use it to pinpoint the direction the signal's coming from. Man, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive. Hey, Delson, look, they found one of those vests that DUP suspects wear over by Hinghe Market. A guy it belonged to might still be there. There's lots of places to hide. Oh, thanks for the tip. So where'd you disappear to earlier, huh? Hey, well, maybe conduits don't have to go to the bathroom, but the rest of us do. How do you get all this information about what's going on? Okay, in, in the Lantern District, the walls have ears and eyes. I just have friends in high places. It sounds like helpful friends. Well, I couldn't imagine better. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks, a place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. I'm not with the 
DUP and I'm not a freak who goes around opening occupied porta potties. No, wait, I saw him first. These angels are quick. Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? I'll leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. Gotta have something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, Big Brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother, get the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. You can have a job for a change. Whoa, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. How's it going, deputy? Whoever this angel maker is, he's pissing me off. They keep grabbing all the conduits and I can't keep up. Oh, same old, same old. If the angels aren't bad enough, there's these gangs of surly dudes out hunting the Vestoids, too. Uh, those would be occurrence. An angry gang of bullies who like to cause trouble around the International District. You should stay clear of them. So far, so good. But these guys are real scum of the earth types. Whoa, whoa, relax. I think it's time you called in the cop, brother. Listen, meet me by the porta potty in the Hing Hay Market. Got a crazy idea. All right, I'll meet you by the porta. Listen, man, I don't know what. You can trust me. I'm a cop. You know, I've noticed you like to mention that a lot. What? What do you think? I mean, it's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. Smells like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me, uh, shoot near me, near me, and we'll see what happens when one of the angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah, knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right. Well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay. Right. But look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. I am a bioterrorist! I eat children! And... Get in! Please, it, conduits don't really do that. And we have lift off. Hey, hey, follow my phone and don't be a dick! I never like commercials anyway. No. Where did Reggie end up? You, big brother, you make excellent live bait. Why, it worked, didn't it? Ugh. Found the angel conduit slayer, now we go take him out. Come on, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. Then I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there, and that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away mad. <laughs> It was your plan. <sighs> what? Hey, Delson. Eugene, wanted to thank you for your help. Found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit It doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really, don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. 
Hello? Anybody home? I see lots of vests, but no people wearing them. <laughs> okay. Not what I imagined from... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Bigger than I'd hoped. I am he who dwells, and you have invaded my dominion. No one's invading your dominion, okay? I just want to share your powers. At school, I always tried to blend in. To fade into the background. To disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, I knew what she was gonna do to them, and I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Delson! Delson? Okay, that's starting to get old. It sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait. I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. What well, important thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets? Whoa, whoa, bro. Not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street. Yeah. Against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look. Fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just... Hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you, start calling you Augustine. <laughs> well, maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit no normals allowed fine if you need me be right outside okay Owen thank you for 
All your help couldn't have done it without you. Oh wait, I you already, already did. did. I know, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, what do you say, Eugene? You, me, a couple of conduits hit the town, you show me some of your new video tricks, I show you how to pick up some girls, maybe rescue some of our marked brethren. I don't think so. But I still feel safer in here. Come on, man. You keep staying down here and playing angels and demons. You're never gonna get laid. Listen, man. It's your life. But there is a way for us to live out there in the real world. But it's up to us to make it happen. You think about that, you let me know, okay? Okay, little bro. I sent you a new core relay. You... Reggie, man, I need you. I... All of my powers are gone. I got I, nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? What? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's... It's, it's too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. <laughs> oh, they're lucky I don't have powers. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all of my powers. I, I, I lost smoke. I lost neon. I never even got Listen, video. this is great. This is great news, man. What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were going to find a cure for you, and this is it. I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone. Delson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just quit while you're ahead for once? Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I'm gonna get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rock scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I... I don't actually need you. I, I, I need your gun. No. No, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is final. You... <laughs> Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. <laughs> Thanks, man. You might want to stand back. Ah, good thing I stood back. Well, maybe the next one will have, like, projectiles or, you know, some kind of bashing. I'll call and let you know. Oh, no, I'm coming with you. No, 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 you're not. I got this. Listen, uh, unless you're planning to open the next core relay with invisibility, you still need me. Besides, you don't know where it is. There it is. Okay, Reg. Why don't you go ahead and cop it open? <laughs> Woohoo! Jackpot! Yeah, well, I hope so, because we got a ton of DUP heading our way. Reggie, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's just get to the next core relay. Sorry, it's getting too dangerous for you to keep tagging along, little buddy. Gene, open up, it's me. Hey, Delson. What, you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. 
Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. All right, stealth, what's the plan? Uh, you know all those suspected bioterrorists we freed from the DUP? Well, I actually remember it being a rescue party of one, but go on. Uh, it turns out the Akuran gang's been rounding them up and holding them at a construction site near here. They're planning to sell them back to the DUP. Great. Why don't we go get them? Well, uh, don't worry. I'm sending my friends. Okay, buddy, I'm here. Where are your friends? Uh, they're on their way, but you need to check the interior of the site, and they're not so good in enclosed spaces. Angels are claustrophobic. Great. Anything else I should know about my backup? Uh, they're not so great in water either. Well, that makes two of us. Damn it, too late. No, no, see my angels? I'll have them keep the helicopters close enough to the roof so you can jump on the containers. Oh, sure. Just jump on the moving shipping containers four stories off the ground. <laughs> you see, this is the kind of fun stuff you miss when you stick to the shadows. Once you're on a container, just break the winch attaching them to the choppers. My angels can catch the containers as they fall. Solid plan. Just don't... It's not crazy to be awesome. Hey, angels, heads up! That's the last of them! Selton, that last container's on the ground in Denny Park. DUP's converging on it now. You can't let them get those conduits. What took you? Well, look who decided to join the real world. Yeah, you convinced me. Figured I'd give people one more chance. Well, on behalf of people, thank you. Yeah, well, worst that can happen, they let me down again. I ran Hellfire on their asses. There you go, kid. Happy thoughts. Nelson. Near a TV? Ever since Eugene, yeah, I try to stay close. News reported an explosion at the tower, then immediately retracted. Try to find a good vantage point to scope things out. Well, Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. It sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. You worry too much. Hey, Delson, you gotta call a girl when you decide to go on a rampage in downtown. Uh, that's not me. I got a great view of somebody smoking the hell out of Duke Choppers. But you can see them? Where are you? On top of a building, near 12th and Union. Why do you care about this guy? You already got smoke. Because I think this might be the guy who was on that transport with you, the one I got my powers from. You mean that big sweaty guy, Hank? Yes, and if he busted out of Augustine's tower, then maybe he can help me figure out a way to break in. Why don't you come with me and help? No. No, that guy is bad news. I think I'll just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks. Hank? How, how the hell did you get this number? You listed. Sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but I uh, knew there was no talking to you until you calmed down. You calm down? I swear, man, when I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, 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 wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? Because so far you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. I'm going to take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great. Then we should... Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out and I'll call you back. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you was chasing me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just gonna say, 
You clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape our tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You gotta shut down. But it ain't gonna do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP forces standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen, we both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Uh, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help them. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they... I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in the- Delson, I've been thinking, there have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, alright? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, I... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. I don't trust him. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift. Thank and you. Draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop, which means I can commandeer a boat, and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it, too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, will you? Now listen, we get out there and start making noise, Augustine will come running. Come on, I know a way into the island we won't be seen. You explain what happened? I saw Augustine kill you back in... You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. You shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. <laughs> Funny. I said the same thing about you. What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hey! Henry! You didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch! I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. I'm a lady. If my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? Oh, you could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. I'll cover you. Sorry, I'm out of grenades. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. I'll flinch. Ah! I knew we couldn't trust him. Okay? Okay, you were right. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Oh, crap! Look out! Stop! Uh, leave my brother alone, you bitch! Oh, dear God. Reggie! Uh, 
You too. Dad, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No! I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Hank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, it's some bitch. <laughs> I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you. She promised she's just gonna talk. What, and you believed her? Oh, she got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you. She had my daughter. Why don't you just come with us? Just disappear. Stay safe, Hank. I'm coming, honey! Let's go home! Fetch, this would be a good time for some backup. Ask and ye shall receive. Eugene, man, you sure know how to level a playing field. Oh, good, you're here. I've been watching you, Delson Rowe, testing you. While you assembled your little bag of tricks, very impressive. Yeah? Well, I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash, 
Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero? Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. Could you just hunt them down and lock them up? Yes, in Curtin K. Protected from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. You just make that decision for them, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military? If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. No, I'm gonna expose you. And your deception. And then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. And I won't let you stop me. You want my power? Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks, hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years, I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. 
You turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. That hurts. When the dust finally settled, all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell. The rage that had filled them moments earlier was now replaced by fear. We dismantled the fortress she had built, the army she had raised, the future she had planned. The entire world was about to know that she had failed. Taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K? They were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. Betty. Elson. You're here. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. A promise is a promise, right? Huh. And the others? I just got here. You're my first stop. You saved me, Delson. Hey, we're a comish. We take care of our own, right? Where's Reggie? Reggie, uh... Reggie saved me. I'm sure gonna miss you.